الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال من لم يشكر الناس لم يشكر الله رواه أحمد إن الحديث إن أحمد نريد بإمام إمام أحمد رحمه الله تعالى are collected in Musnad Imam Ahmed. The Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, whoever does not thank the people does not thankful, th thank Allah. So this hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam shows us the importance of being grateful to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala and grateful to people. That when people assist you and do favors for you or small kindnesses al ma'un and show you hospitality that you should be grateful and thankful to Allah Azza wa Jal and the way and means in which you are grateful and thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is by thanking the people so it shows us also the importance of good manners in Islam and that this is from husn al khulq this is from the righteous mannerisms that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam ordered us uh, to do and exhorted us to do as the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said مَا مِنْ شَيْءٍ أَتْقُلُوا فِي مِزَانُ مُؤْمِنْ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَ مِنْ حُسْنُ خُلْقِ وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ يُبْغِذُوا الْفَهِشَ الْبِذِي The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said there isn't a thing which weighs heavier on the scale of a believer than good manners and verily Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala hates wicked and sinful speech so that hadith as well as this hadith shows us the importance of the husn of khulq and good manners and from that good manners is being thankful and grateful and I wish to give thanks to our dear beloved brother Sharif and his family for their hospitality and their khair in putting us up and extending their favors and going way beyond the duty of hosting the guest and we ask that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses them with kulli khair and raises them up in ranks and righteousness in this life as well as the hereafter. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.